Oh, oh. that's about now. Oh, oh, oh. Get that one up, India. That's a great bit of bowling by Brett Lee. Full and straight. The zing bars, they went everywhere. It's clearing the front toe out and then the back toe. And it's stump cam. Curtains for you for a little while till the technicians can get there. Bowled him! What a ripper! That was the one they needed. He went over the wicket and he's got him. He saw that one right up there and his uh, aggressive instincts took over. But that's a beautiful piece of bowling. Oh, what a delivery from Malinga. In swinging Yorker. And that is the end of the New Zealand captain, Yorked by Jeff Lawson, right up into the great Yorker length, and Jeff Lawson's arms are lost. He at the non-strikers in. Oh, he's bowled! Second ball, the first one was a wide, the second straight through him. I think the uh, hints of swing, comprehensively bowled, as we say. It's a wonderful delivery by Mitchell Stark. Feet really nowhere, but what can you do when the ball's coming at 150 and swinging around corners? Oh. Oh, in. That's all over for Hoggart. Stumps lying all over the place. Crashed into off stump, and I think he was protecting middle. Well, Glenn McGrath with two big strikes near the end of the day. Got to get Bailey on strike, you would think. Oh, perfection from Pat. Just a picture perfect Yorker. Yeah, excellent. Uh, it was actually a, probably a full toss if he stood his normal ground, but he backed away. He was looking for third man on the Bunnings Warehouse replay, Flem. This ball here. And now he's got three for seven from his last two overs. That is class bowling from Joffre Archer. He lost that completely. Didn't look to me as though he saw it from the moment it left Wazim Akram's hand. It was a great delivery. Excellent delivery. And that's hit Steve War on the full on the back foot. <laughs> There's nowhere else that could have gone, really. Bowled in with the Yorker. Beautifully bowled in, Pascal. He really deserved that wicket. Yorker after Yorker. And you see an over bowl like this one, Tony, and you just wonder why some of the fast bowlers can't do it a little bit more consistently. That's Yorker and bang, that's broken the pegs, I reckon. That is a cracking delivery. Half sweep cross bat shot again. That's too quick. Bunnings Warehouse replay. Middle stump out of the ground. Look forward to seeing stump vision on that one too. Oh. If it's still <laughs> producing a signal. Well bowed. He doesn't need another option other than Morris. You miss. I hit. And he did. What are your options? Last ball of the power play to Chris Lynn. I'm going hard, Yorker. Nailed it. Right just in front of the crease, right into the base of the stump. Look how happy he is with that. Between the wickets. Well bowled! Josh Hazelwood! It was a Yorker length, but swung late again. Kale Ruff all round it. Well, I talked about Kale Rahul perhaps wanting to or being happier to face Josh Hazelwood from the other end and Good stuff. Oh, that's brilliant. The reverse Malarch there from Big JK. Oh, <laughs> he's happy to. Even at the ripe old age of about 40, Jack Hallis on the Bunnings Warehouse Reef. Well, that's a perfect Yorker. David Hussey just looking to hit through the offside, likes to give himself a bit of room. See the zing bales flying. Mike Hussey says, see you later, bro, you're gone. <laughs> This is one dangerous man. And bowl that pace, reverse swing into Alley, and be on the money every time. That is a beauty. He hasn't given up. Bowled him with a beauty. Didn't swing, he didn't worry about swing. He worried about control, wrist release, and under the bat. Tonight. Hodge. Oh, no. That's a big wicket, tight, delivers when required.
That's his trademark. Look at that from on the Bunnings Warehouse replay. Hodge looking to go to the leg side. The wild thing. This is the ball he was dreaming about. Full. And to get those zing bars flying. Hodgie 